Hi, my name is Chloe A and welcome to our eight unusual facts of how technology has changed. Come with us as we ask people what they think has changed in technology since the very first Apple design. From the first computer to a drone that flies, this is how technology has immensely changed. I'm Chloe M and welcome to our report. Our first fact on how technology has changed is that most online companies such as Microsoft, Google and many others started in a small garage. As you may know, online companies have become very popular throughout the years. They have been modified and even copyrighted due to their success. That's right. They also help us to understand subjects, complete unsolvable questions and entertain us with funny cat videos. But as their companies succeed, copywriters and upcoming websites have always tried to bring them down. Surely that's not right. Well, our second fact on how technology has changed is that technology behind the internet began back in the 1960s. The first ever message to be transmitted was log. Why? Well, the user had attempted to type login, but the network crashed after the enormous load of data <coughs> of the letter G. It would be a while before Facebook would have ever been developed. To think that all the internet or World Wide Web was on one page brings us to our next subject. Although the original page was never saved, we can tell that it really was a first of time. That's right. The first website began as a single page URL that I cannot reveal. This contained information about this newfangled World Wide Web project and how you could too make a hypertext page for the wonderful hyperlinks. The first spam email was sent in 1978 when DEC released a new computer and operating system. A poor marketeer decided to send a mass email to 600 users and administrators of the Earthnet, the father of the internet. The poor person who had typed it all, didn't quite understand the system and ended up typing the addresses in the complete wrong spot. The reaction of the recipient was much the same fury as users today. It wasn't until later though that the term spam would be born. So where does the word spam come from then? I heard the one urban legend traced it back to the multi-user dungeons of the 1980s ancient multiplayer adventure games where players explored and performed actions using text only. One new user felt the need to program a keyboard to type the word spam every few seconds, presumably imitating the famous Monty Python sketch about spam loving Vikings. Wow, that's amazing, but I think that's enough sp spam talk for one day, don't you? I think so too. Well then, that brings us on to our fourth fact. As you may know, internet terrorism is very much a real threat. In February 2008, five deep sea cables that provided internet connection to the Middle East were cut. Viruses and anonymous users have brought out scam security apps that affect the customer's devices and jam the internet connections with death threats and terrorist type videos. That's awful. And the worst part is that the customer has no idea of the threat until they leave you with bank wallet and an unpolite knock on your door to tell you. Luckily, software updates and virus protectors have swooped in and stopped the customer's details to get leaked. So, it's highly likely that you'll end up with no money anytime soon. Now on to our fifth, fa fifth fact about how technology has changed. Technology can help save the planet. It is believed that due to Barack Obama being elected in 2008, the cost of wind energy has fallen by 58%, and even the price of solar energy has fallen by an amazing amount of 78%. This is only thanks to technological advancements and economies of scale. Wow, but how has that impacted us? Well, the global economy grew by 3% in 2014, while world emissions remain flat. So, this means that a cheaper alternative energy will be the best option the world has left. This has made people not willing to fundamentally change their lives with problems far from the future, even ones as important as climate change. So, to avoid the effects of climate change, we would need alternative energies to become as cheap and as reliable as their carbon emitting counterparts. But quickly. Well, that is something to add to my fat list. What about you? I know a really fun but unusual fact about technology too. This is our sixth fact of the day. Did you know that before digital, play, digital music plays or smartphones, the tape cassette player was a must-have gadget? The cassette tapes meant it took ages to skip songs you didn't like. After cassette tapes became CD players, which are even bigger but allowed you to skip tracks, unfortunately, they also skipped if you bumped them gently. Which one would you rather choose? I would rather choose a CD player. 
Although they skipped other songs for the Pacific One Part Two. What about you? I think I prefer the cassette tapes. I say it skipped a really good song, especially since I'm so used to advanced technology. I think it would impact everyone. Well, that leads us to our next unusual fact. Fact number seven. Today's technology. Who doesn't go on their phone or has any type of electrical device? Modern smartphones are replacing things like CD players and MP3 players. I think I like smartphones better than MP3 players because you make phone calls, play games, edit important documents, store music and even browse on the internet. There is a lot more variety in a smartphone than an MP3 player. I think that today's technology is better because we don't have to handwrite letters. We can just send it over email. It's also better because when typewriters were the thing, it took a very long time to create even a formal note without making a mistake. You even had to start again. There was no going back as it was all ink. What do you think of the difference between our old ways of typing and sending important messages compared to now? Well, they must have got frustrated at the fact they had to start again. I would have. Now let's talk about fact number eight. Yes, we did a survey to see how many people use technology on a daily basis. The question was to see how many electrical devices they owned and how long they spent on them at a time. The survey was tested on 70 people. That's right. 42.9% of them said they owned five or more electrical devices and used them three or more hours daily. 24.3% of the candidates said they owned over 10 electrical devices and spend two hours on them at a time. And last but not least, 32.9% of the candidates said they own five devices and spend less than an hour at them at one time. Wow, it's intriguing to see how technology has changed over the years, but our goal was not to see how the very first iPod changed to the iPhone 7 Plus. No, it was to see how technology changed us as individuals. I'm Chloe A. And I'm Chloe M. And, and this, this was, was our, our report. report.